I know this video is mad long. I hope y'all have tea, coffee, wine, something. <music> My name is Patricia and I'm back at you guys with another video. I know. But you know what? You're just gonna have to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. If you guys have been tuned in to what's been going on with me, if you follow me on Instagram, if you've been watching my vlog channel, then you know a lot has happened in your girl's life. And I can't talk about it all in one video, so um, we just gonna have to break it up. So today though, I wanna focus on my wedding day. Just to bring you guys in just a little bit closer, is that okay? If you guys follow my Instagram, then a lot of this is not news to you because I shared everything over there. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you might wanna do that. So uh, yeah, let's talk about it. So one of the great decisions that I made for my wedding was staying overnight at my venue. And if this is like an option for you, totally do this. So the venue that we chose was a winery. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful landscape, had a beautiful old American, old American bed and breakfast on the property. So my sister and I stayed there the night before. It was great getting away. If you're an introvert like me and you think you're gonna need a moment, you probably will. <laughs> and so just rent a space, even, even if it's a separate room in the same hotel, something. So then the next morning I woke up and um, we went down for breakfast, which was super, super cute, super, super nice, so peaceful. Really had time to look around, look at the property and take everything in. From the windows of the bed and breakfast, I could see them setting up the chairs for my wedding, which was so nice because um, just looking out in the scenery, I was able to sort of take in the moment. You know, this is crazy. It's my actual wedding day and those people are out there setting up the chairs for my actual wedding. It's it's happening, it's happening today. So morning of, I leave the room where we rented for the night, which would then become the room for the bridesmaids to get ready. And then I went over to, across the way to the bridal suite which, which was a much bigger room. And I took a shower, I got ready, and uh, my bridesmaids were due to show up at noon, and the groomsmen will come an hour later at one, and there was a groomsmen lounge downstairs where they would get ready and they would do whatever it is that they need to do. So I was taking my shower, getting ready, and my makeup artist um, shows up. She was a bridesmaid at my wedding as well. Hey, Rebecca and um, you know she beat this face she did her thing you know what I mean um, you can find her on Instagram if you're interested if you're in the greater Atlanta greater Atlanta area and you're looking for a bomb makeup artist hit my girl up I'll leave her information um, down below for you guys but yeah she did an amazing job on my face um, I got my hair done by unique Berry I uh, hopefully I got that right <laughs> um, and she did Ooh, sorry she did an amazing job as well on my hair she literally did exactly what I wanted um, and I really wanted something simple I wanted some you know full thick curls and the hair pulled away from my face in the front and I think she did an amazing amazing job my godmother also spent the night in the bed and breakfast and so she was there first thing in the morning so she was coming in and out of the bridal salon which bridal suite which was so like crazy for me because um you know my godmother has been in my life my my whole life <laughs> and um she's just been one of those women in my life that I've looked up to and any big or special moment she's always been there so that my girls are getting ready the guys are getting ready and then I'm getting ready upstairs at four o'clock the family's supposed to arrive my wedding started at five and so that's my mom and my dad and Joshua's mom and um, some of our extended family members as well. So that was nice for them to show up. By the time they got there, my hair was already done, my makeup was already done. At this point, it's just 
putting on my dress, which was a process. I realized that the only person who knew how to put my dress on was my sister who was occupied doing other things. So it was a little bit of a process, but we got it done. Meanwhile, um, the videographers are around doing their thing, catching scenery from the venue, the guys getting ready, the girls getting ready. And, um, you know, them setting up and stuff like that. The big thing that I was worried about for my wedding day was rain. Um, it was drizzling the morning, late morning of my wedding day and people were coming in, the florist was coming in like, Hey, should I put the flowers inside or out, outside? You know, should we go to plan B? And I, I was absolutely not the people from the venue vendor coordinator coming to me. What do you want us to do? Do you want, I said, give me till this time come and ask me, I'll give you the decision. And literally in that moment, I prayed to God give us sunshine hold back this rain because it was going to rain that day it was due to rain that day i said hold back that rain better yet send the sun today that was my prayer and they came back up to me and i told those people we're having this wedding ceremony outside and that's about to happen y'all about to get the backdrop the trees the green the leaves all this i paid for so i'm about to get every bit of it and don't you know guys that it did not rain god held back the rain during my ceremony so i made the decision and slowly but surely i'm looking around and the clouds start to go away it was so beautiful i was standing in one of the foyers waiting to uh, walk down the aisle just when i'm having this beautiful moment standing there with my dad i hear my um the song for my family um start to play so i know my family's walking down then the song changes i'm assuming it's the song that's supposed to be for my bridesmaids or my bridal party and it was the wrong song y'all the wrong song when i tell you the moment they let me out from that back back hallway that i was standing in and i came up to the back of the doors I told them to call that DJ to me and was like, why are you playing this song, y'all, guys? I was heated. And let me stop here for a second, guys. If you think for a moment not one thing is going to go wrong on your wedding day, prepare yourself even now. One thing will go wrong one thing but if you're prepared for it you won't freak out i flipped out a little bit on him i really did he was scared i saw it in his eyes i saw it in his body language this is not something that you want to happen while you are working dj or working professional you paying the, you're playing the wrong song but the song was already playing he couldn't abruptly stop it they were already walking down the aisle it it was what it was and i know some of you might be thinking Patricia, what's the big deal he played ed sheeran's perfect instead of um marry me no y'all this song was upbeat this was supposed to be our exit song so that's already that already shows you like how awkward it was how awkwardly placed in my ceremony y'all ended up working out because other people said they loved it even the bridal party was like oh it was cool because it was upbeat we were walking down the aisle we were smiling we were it kind of gave it was a great energy and it made your entrance that much more dramatic afterward i don't know i'm still kind of mad about it when it is when it is share with you guys with the song that i walked down to just because I know this is like one thing that people are always, um, you know, um, looking for, like a perfect song. And as soon as I heard this song, I knew it was it. It hasn't even started to play and I already feel myself getting emotional. I get to I'm reading, okay, we gonna get through this. I'm reading the lyrics and it's already got me mad emotional. It says, one look at you, my whole life falls in line. I prayed for you before I called you mine. I can't believe it's true sometimes. I can't believe it's true. I get to love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do. I get to love you. It's a promise I'm making to you. Whatever may come, your heart I will choose. Forever I'm yours, forever I do. I get to love you. 
I Get to Love You. It's a beautiful song. I knew this was gonna happen, so I went ahead and got the tissues because <laughs> I knew at some point during this video it was gonna happen. I always feel like when I start crying, I, start, I try to talk through it. I always think of Olivia Pope from Scandal. Initially thought I'd be terribly emotional like the way that I am now. And every time I play the song, I'm emotional. Um, and I thought that was gonna be the case walking down the aisle for me, but it wasn't. I, I, the, that was a long aisle, y'all. That was another thing. I didn't realize how long that aisle, that aisle was long. I, I'm walking towards him and my dad is making sure that I'm walking at snail pace, okay? <laughs> Had it been up to me, I might've just ran down the aisle. And I'm just looking to the left and to the right and I'm seeing like all these people from, from different po from different points of my life, you know, from my childhood to my family to my cousins to former coworkers, current coworkers. And then about maybe three quarters of the way, I could at least see Joshua now. And he is bawling, y'all. It is the reaction that every bride wants. I was gifted with that reaction and so genuine and so, um, honest and so and so pure got to the end of the aisle and um joshua came and met my dad and i at the end of the aisle that was really some more tears were shed to uh, the pergola, I think I said that right, and um, where the minister was standing. He was my pastor um, when I was in high school. So my sister sang at my wedding, which was really precious. I didn't know this was gonna be full of tears. Like, I really didn't. This is not the direction I thought this video was gonna go in. Woo, she did an amazing job. I was able to sing at her wedding, and so it just was so special to me that she was able to sing at mine as well so then as my sister was singing guess what the sun started to shine take you guys back to my prayer that god would hold back the rain and that he would send the sun and that is exactly what he did he shined on us that day i said to joshua i said out loud that the sun is shining our pastor said, God is shining on you guys today. And um, that's probably the first tear that I shed that day. <laughs> because it meant so much that God answered my prayer that day. That he reminded, that he reminded me that he was with us. So it was official. Um, we were married. We walk out and we go to one of the back rooms in the bed and breakfast that they had us in while everybody else went to the cocktail hour. And um, I think we had like a few things back there as well. And I'm looking at this guy and I'm just like, you know, and <laughs> this is it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's done. Like, it's official, <laughs> you know. Um, I'm your wife, you know, you're, you're my husband. It's crazy. So we are back there waiting to come out into the reception hall and um we come into the reception hall to magic in the air by magic system <laughs> and i think everyone else came into before i let go by beyonce um but we came into magic system by um or magic in the air by magic system so that was really cool and then we had our first dance which was adele make you feel my love and that was so special. When I tell you it felt like, I know it sounds corny, but it literally felt like no one else was in the room. No one else was in the room. Those of you guys who follow us on Instagram might um, have seen the clips from our first dance and it was, you know, Joshua was mouthing the lyrics to um, the song um, to me, was mouthing the lyrics of the song to me as, as we were dancing and um, 
when I tell you y'all I was okay but when he got to the part in the song let me pull up the lyrics too so I think that'll help but when he got to the part in the song when he said and I'll never do you wrong y'all that was it for me that was another moment where um, I could not contain you know my emotions I'm a hard shell to crack and um, that's because I've been protecting myself all of these years because I've been hurt before and I didn't want to be hurt again and and he knows that those words just hit me in a different way because they spoke to me directly all right so let's get through these lyrics <clears throat> it says when the rain I feel like I want to sing it right I don't want to do that to y'all um maybe I might when the rain is blowing in your face and the whole world is on your case I could offer you a warm embrace to make you feel my love when the evening shadows and the stars appear and there is no one there to dry your te tears, I'll hold you for a million years to make you feel my love. I know you haven't made your mind up yet, but I will never do you wrong. That's where it got me off. <laughs> I've known it from the moment that we met, no doubt in my mind where you belong. I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue, I'd go crawling down the avenue. No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do to make you feel my love. After that, we went into speeches and um, uh, from his brother, my sister, his brother, maid and best man, his mother, my dad, and then it was time to eat y'all. And when I tell you they brought this big f f plate of food to me and the last thing I really wanted to do is eat, y'all, please remember to eat on your wedding day. Like, y'all, you hate all this money. <laughs> all this money. Eat your food. But I was more concerned about going around to all the tables and greeting everyone and thanking everyone for coming which I did. Honestly, we spoke, you know, some people don't on their wedding day, but we did. We took a few moments to thank some special people to us and some special people in our lives that were that contributed to our relationship and that contributed to us individually and in support of the relationship. So we did we could have just left it at that and just seen people when we see them, but no, we had to go around all the tables to say hi to everybody which was nice but we should have ate i should have ate some more first joshua was really trying to make sure that i ate and i wasn't i wasn't really listening i should have listened because i definitely was hungry later after that it, as we were still finishing up our thank yous and going from table to table the dance floor had opened up and people started dancing and having a good time and that was just so nice to see to experience that and to just see you know seeing my family and everybody on the dance floor it was just so nice it was so surreal there was a moment where i kind of stepped back just to look at it and i'm just like wow all these people are here for us and to, to are here well so, most of them are some of them here because they just want to spectate and they just want to see and that's whatever but 95 percent of these people are here in support of us and and love us and what an amazing thing that is i mean honestly 85% of our guests were from out of town. We had people from California. We had multiple guests from California, from Canada, from New York, from New Jersey. Um, we had some, I think our furthest, oh, we had people from Haiti. Our furthest guests came from Germany. Yes. So most of our guests came from out of town and all these people made you know, this sacrifice came all the way out to support us. It was absolutely amazing.
video and a picture booth essentially. So you could leave us a message at the video booth and also take some pictures. So it was really nice seeing all the different wishes and everything from um, the people that attended. I loved um, the color scheme that I chose. I love the theme. The theme that I came up with was rustic romance. So there was a lot of wood um, all over the place. In our tall centerpieces, there was like this um, wood, like twig material. I can't, I can't remember what it's called. And on the inside of our vases with little lights as well. And they were sitting on wood slabs um, that I had gotten from various places and um, yes yeah, so there was a lot of wood in our uh, wedding um, but then also the romantic side a lot of fabric and um, candles and um, I just loved every bit of it I loved our color scheme which was blush gold um, ivory with a touch of sage um, I had an amazing when I tell you amazing y'all get you some get you some amazing people around you between um, my sister which was, who was my maid my cousin who was my matron um, the wonderful 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 person that helped me with um my decor because my venue um you know is a venue they're not like a wedding shop it is a fully functioning winery so you come with everything you come with your liquor you come with your decor you come they got chairs and tables and that's just that's to sit so you have to have a team to help you set up your decor so the person that i really have to send a huge shout out to um publicly is um your girl the one and only evelyn williams i mean y'all may know her as many things online you can find her at chef evelyn i believe chef evelyn.com um, she has a YouTube channel, um, Chef Evelyn and also Evelyn Inc. Two YouTube channels, I believe. Um, she's on Instagram. Y'all know, um, I first met her about a few years ago. I want to say two years ago in Dallas, Texas, but we had been online friends even from way before that. Um, and something just told me one day when I was thinking about like, who's going to help me put this together? Like who's going to help me? Who's going to be me when I can't be there? saying this goes there and who will understand the vision and who will make sure that it's actually executed. Cause y'all, let me tell you something, the way I am, I will come down with my hair and my dress and this goes there, no, that goes there. I said, you know, who can make sure things end up right? And she was the person that came to heart and she's the one who came to mind. I called her and I said, look here, <laughs> I know you don't exactly do this, but this is what I need you to do for me. And she was like, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. And um, I just really thank her for being so diligent and being so meticulous and literally being my eye when I'm when I couldn't be there. And I refused to be there, too. I really didn't want to be dealing with any particulars or setting things up or decor because I'm married. And that's what I all that's what I wanted to focus on. And um, she allowed me to do that. So she worked with one of my friends turned family now um erica and my cousins who all sort of they all came together they wanted to help like people were begging to make sure that things were done right i had these beautiful um programs that i had um printed that needed to go on popsicle sticks so i had gotten some glue guns and i wanted um, i wanted to tie like a little fabric around them so that people can use the fans on the wedding day so you know i got married i got married in july so it's hot and so i wanted these to double 
um, as you know souvenirs something they could take home because it did have a picture of us on the back side of it they could take it home as a souvenir of the wedding day also use it as a fan um, during the ceremony just in case it got hot which it did because the Sun did shine very very bright on us um, during the ceremony um, and so, yeah, so somebody had to put these together. And so it was just so nice having a little wedding sweatshop that weekend when all of my family um, were in my room. All my cousins were in the room along with Evelyn and um, getting these things together. Have the, the last dance and then um, we head out. And by this time it is pouring, y'all. It, it had started raining by halfway through the ceremony, for the, halfway through the reception, I'm told. And so it is raining. We get into the limo, get to the hotel. And when I tell you, we go to sit down and we are starving. Starving, y'all. So hungry. And um, Evelyn had had an amazing idea that I suggest to everyone. And that is to-go boxes. Whatever you don't finish on your wedding day, have the caterers put away for you. And so I had gotten a um, picnic basket, this cute picnic basket from Amazon. And so we had a little cute picnic in the hotel room, just sort of reminiscing on the day. One other thing that didn't go as planned is that somehow in the ceremony, our personal vows got lost. Um, meaning the the minister never announced them and so i think it was like a, a misunderstanding or whatever so we had done you know the formal vows but we also wanted to do personal vows to each other which we actually didn't get to do um during the ceremony which again it's one of those things where i feel like happened for a reason for many reasons that we maybe we could talk about in another video but what we ended up doing was um we ended up reading the vows to each other in the room so i had bought these beautiful vow books from etsy his and hers and they were customized and they were also the color our wedding colors and so the whole idea was that we were supposed to have a written version of our vows for the rest of our lives so that later on if i need to remind him what he told us um told me on my wedding day that i could take out the book and be like here on page three you said type of thing um, but we were able to read them to each other um that night which was amazing and was so personal um and between him and i which has been the very has been the spirit of our relationship un up until now and so it was just amazing to be able to to be able to have that moment together while we're eating our wedding food and um reading each other vows i had also gotten a bottle of champagne for that night as well and so just sipping on the champagne and having the food from our wedding and then reading our vows to each other. It was a beautiful moment, guys. You know, I really wouldn't have changed. I really wouldn't change a thing besides the DJ playing the wrong song. I wasn't mad about the vows, actually, um, because I really believe that happened for a reason. Besides the DJ playing the wrong song, I wouldn't change a thing about my day. I literally wouldn't change a thing about the wedding day it was absolutely beautiful even to this even to this day my mother tells me she's just like oh my gosh my girls had such beautiful weddings such a blessing blah 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 because you know my mother wasn't a believer when i tell you my mother was not feeling my venue at all another another tip i would give to you guard your heart guard your heart guard your feelings it's a very emotional very sensitive um uh, time of your life because you just want everything to be perfect you want to everything to be as you d envisioned it would be and sometimes other people's co comments and things like that get to you my mother didn't see my venue until about maybe two months before my wedding and um yeah, was it two months or was it a month before I don't even know because <laughs> I knew she wouldn't be able to see it the way I see it you know and after the fact, she was loving everything about my wedding day. But if you let people's you know, thoughts and stuff get to you beforehand, it could cause you to make a decision that you're not supposed to make. Even the guy from the venue said it. He was like, at the end of the day, it's about my bride. And um, she loves it. 
and I already have her money, so it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? He was joking, but it was serious at the same time, you know what I mean? Just being honest with you guys with what I experienced and my own experience, and people don't mean to, because just as much as you want your wedding day to be perfect and stuff like that, the people around you and your family, they want it too. Stay true to yourself, and that you surround your with people who will remind you of, of you and remind you of what you want or who are there and who are in support of what you want and I had that shout out to my sister who was really you know supportive throughout the whole process my brother-in-law supportive to me and to Joshua throughout the whole process um, my matron of honor Miriam Evelyn, who was there, not just for, you know, decor and making sure that, the, that everything looked good um, and that all of the, you know, the things that we had planned looked good, but also was a good emotional support to me as well. And I just feel altogether good about the day, y'all. The photos that I've seen thus far, um, they look beautiful. They look beautiful and uh, the makeup artists were great y'all I had a total of five makeup artists on my wedding day I was not playing around when it came to makeup um, I didn't want us to be, be to be getting ready for a long period of time and so we were dealing with a short window which means we needed more people so I had someone doing me three people doing the girls and then one person came to my mother's house and did her um, some of my aunts and um, Joshua's mother as well so y'all when I tell you <laughs> I was set when it came to the makeup artist and if I can find all of their pages I do I'll look through my emails and make sure I put below the main person that I hired was Jessica um, from JJ artistry y'all I probably should have been put y'all I'm not prepared at all let me shout this girl out right to make sure um, J Day Artistry, yes, J Day Artistry. Her and um, uh, the two artists that she worked with, and I'll also leave their information down below. They did amazing with my girls, amazing, amazing, amazing. I just had a really good experience, and I am just so grateful that I had the wedding of my dreams, and that I got to marry the man of my dreams, and then I went on the honeymoon of my dreams. Which we're going to have to talk about in a whole separate other video. I have a lot, a lot, a lot to say. Um, I went to Thailand. Went to three cities in Thailand. A tour of Thailand through Affordable World. Which if you guys scour Groupon a lot, you guys might be familiar with this travel company. And I know a lot of people may have questions about their, you know, my experience with Affordable World. And how I felt um, about honeymooning with them and also traveling to Thailand what you need to know and um yeah y'all it's gonna be a good video let's do tips real quick all right let me I'll give you a few things and I'll send you on your way I promise I know this video is mad long I hope y'all have tea coffee wine something one of my non-negotiables when it came to picking my venue was I needed a venue where we could get ready on the premises I wanted that I didn't want some people at a hotel, some people at the house, some people at the Airbnb, didn't want it. I wanted a central, I wanted a venue that we could get ready at. There was a suite, bridal suite, lounge, something. Create a schedule for your day. Who's getting their makeup done first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I had that all laid out um, for the girls so they knew what time slot that they were in. But have everything on the schedule at the same time realizing, don't freak out. If you're like me, don't freak out. You know, we were running completely on time, but our minister was late. And obviously we can't show up if we can't have the wedding if the minister don't show up. So our wedding started like 15 minutes late, 10, 15 minutes. It felt like hours to me, but apparently people told me it was like 15 minutes. Calm down, cool it. You know, things will be knocked off schedule just a little bit. But guess what? We made up that time because we didn't have our personal vows in our ceremony, like I said. Um, earlier which I'm completely okay with but you know that would have taken easily that 15 minutes it'll it'll end up working out again like I said throughout this video find yourself a support system that really will remind you to calm down I was surprisingly very very calm throughout my whole wedding experience very 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 calm but just in case I wasn't I got some people around me that could help 
you know, keep me calm, that can make me laugh. I told you guys about the picnic basket at the end of the day, making sure that you eat as much as you can on your wedding day because you're going to be hungry later. Um, and even if you don't eat, make sure you have a to-go tray made um, by your caterer from your, your personal plate or any extra plates that were um, from people who didn't show up or whatever. We ain't have any extra plates because we have a few people you know, showed up that wasn't supposed to, but it is what it is. All the leftover hors d'oeuvres because we had a lot of those left over. Um, we got the, to eat those, which was great because there were some hors d'oeuvres I didn't even see in the back. So it was great that we got to actually taste them from what was packed away um, for us. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention toward the end, I bought a lot of things for this wedding, guys. I bought a lot of actual things besides pay, you know, paying big payments for the whole like venue and food and um, uh, flowers and all that stuff. But the individual pieces for decor, those things we had a lot. And at the end of the day, it's like now you have, you know, 20 something um, wood slabs and you know all this fabric from Joann's that I have bought. And, um, you know, all of the, uh, I had the wooden um, place card holders. Um, with the table numbers and people's names on them, those wood, uh, those wooden place card holders uh, from David Duterra, got those from Michaels, and yeah, I had a hundred and six some odd of those, all of those left over from my wedding. Not to mention the plate chargers that I had also bought. Facebook Marketplace is your best friend. As of today, I sold um, 160 of my plate chargers. Got all that money back, y'all. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, you know, after the, the you know, things have settled, and I just sold those this week. So after everything is so, uh, settled a bit, take some pictures and put those things on Facebook Marketplace. You'd be surprised. I bought some things on Facebook Marketplace and I was able to sell a lot of my things on there as well. Able to sell at least 60% of my things so far. The other tip I gave you guys early on in the video is to make sure that you take some time away, time apart. Um, the, the nights leading up to your wedding day, but yeah, y'all, that's all of my tips so far. If you guys want any more tips or me to go into detail about any spe specific thing, then let me know down below, guys. Thoughts and feelings down below. That's all I can think of to share right now. I am starving. I have been talking for a long time. It's been a while since I did a YouTube video and I'm not used to all this talking. <laughs> but um, yeah, y'all, just know that your girl, y'all, you guys are always looking out for me and always are so positive and so loving and supportive of me. I really, really appreciate that. Some of you guys actually sent me gifts and bought things on my registry. If you guys sent me a gift, can you guys please, please, please send me a DM on Instagram or on one of my platforms with your address because I'm sending out my thank you cards and I really want to include you guys. But um, I was, um, I'm registered on Amazon and there's like a option for you guys not to show your address. So I can't send you a thank you card and I really want to thank you guys personally. So if you, bought off of uh, our registry on Amazon. I really appreciate it if you just hit me up and then just, you know, let me know that it was you at the very least. If you don't want to send me your address, I get that. But um, just so I can say thank you for, for doing that. That was really kind and, and nice of you and Joshua and I really, really appreciate it. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys soon, soon, very, very soon. I promise with another video. In the meantime, follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, and all the social media places so that we can chat in between these videos over here. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon in another video. And as always, God bless.